Hasbro, why you gotta do Bell dirty like this? Hey everybody, welcome back and happy holidays. It is December, it is officially Christmas time. Well, I celebrate Christmas, but um, of course there's many people out there that celebrate other holidays and even some people who don't celebrate. Um, but it is still, regardless of what you celebrate or don't celebrate, it is that time of year where, um, you know, just normally things would be a lot different. I feel like there's a lot more togetherness and people, um, you know, getting to spend time with their families and friends and stuff like that. But unfortunately, because of the pandemic and everything that's going on, that's just not a reality right now. That's, you know, 2020. <laughs> um, so I'm here to try and bring some, you know, just something hopefully a little bit of joy <laughs> to to you for the holidays you know so you know if you can't be with your family or your friends right now let's hang out together for I don't know like 15 minutes <laughs> while I look at some dolls and talk about them and give you my opinions so today I am going to be doing some unboxing and I'm going to be reviewing these lovely beauties right here and of course as always I have a really bad glare from <laughs> I use my computer monitors as extra lights <laughs> so so uh, that's that's what you're seeing in the back right there. But, um, anyway, so yeah, I got the Style Series. I got two of them anyway. Um, I wanted to get Mulan, but she was sold out at the time that I tried to, to order these. But um, yeah, I actually got these a lot later than most people. Um, a lot of the people that already have reviews up got these dolls um, like when they came out. So um, I'm a little late to the game for that. But you know what? Better late than never, right? So these dolls are by Hasbro, and this is number one. I've got Ariel here, and the thing about these is they are kind of done up like um, designers or um, like they're going to an event or a party or maybe a red carpet thing, um, you know, kind of similar to the premiere series that the Disney store did, because actually I think, I think these came out around the same time as that. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, this is like Hasbro's version of that. Um, now, one thing, I'm just kind of like going over. This is Belle, by the way. Um, and, you know, they, they have these really pretty, you know, like slightly different fashions that are different than what they were in their movies. Um, and then on the back, they have this artwork. I don't know if this is like probably concept artwork. Um, or maybe it's just, you know, the artwork that they decided to go with, but, um, I think that it's really pretty. Um, they, their faces are a little strange in this artwork on the back. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, they look a little weird to me. I don't know. I like the, I like the artwork on the front better. They have different artwork here. So this is Ariel and it just kind of looks like a sketch, which I love. And then here is Belle, and Belle is wearing her more, like, traditional yellow ball gown that she wears in her movie. But, um, yeah, so there's there's Belle there. I really like that artwork, and it's kind of like, you can't, I don't know if you could tell, but it's kind of like uh, 3D, like, I, yeah, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's kind of embossed, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, like, if you've watched my channel for a while, you probably know that I'm not the biggest fan of the Hasbro Disney dolls. I'm not a big collector of them, mainly because they don't have a lot of articulation, but I haven't been a fan of the the look, like, their faces. Like, <laughs> I joked around, in, I think in one of my uh, videos with Samantha, we were going, uh, we were at Toys R Us and doing, like, a toy hunting, and I joked around and called Snow White Off-White. Oh my god, here she is, look. I love how big of a pet peeve. That is not you. Snow White, that's, like, her long-lost sister Off-White. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> like, you know those, like, knockoff movies? Like, she's the Snow White from DreamWorks or something. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, I haven't really gotten into the Hasbro ones too much. Mulan is the one exception. She, Mulan has always been really pretty to me, and she's my favorite from Hasbro. In fact, that was actually the only one that I bought with my own money. And I have a second Mulan that I got for Christmas last year, actually. Um, my niece bought it for me. She went to this thing, at, I think it was at her school or at... 
a church or something where they were able to go around and buy Christmas gifts for their family and friends and stuff like that. Um, and it was really cute. You know, it's a little little thing where the kids got to do. And she she bought me a doll because she wanted to add help. You know, she wanted to give me a doll for my collection, which I found really sweet. And it happened to be the Mulan doll from Hasbro. And I still have it. And I love it, uh, especially because it was a pre Christmas present from my niece. So these are the two that I got uh, in this particular purchase. Um, still got my eye out for Mulan. Um, I got them on a really, really good price, like on a good sale. Here it does say, say Disney style series on both of the boxes. Um, on the side it says it as well. And then it's got a number here. So what's cool about these is they're, they're all numbered. And if you get them all, you can line them up on a, on a bookshelf or whatever. And they're, you know, numbers. Uh, Belle is number three. So like, I've only got the odd numbers so far. Um, but they have... Mulan as well was number two, and then I don't know what numbers they were, but they also came out with a Rapunzel, uh, Aurora, and a Jasmine, if I'm not mistaken, and um, I don't know what order they were in, so I don't know what numbers they were, and I think they actually came out with a second Ariel and a second Belle. I think both the Belle and the Ariel um, have very, like, 90s-inspired outfits in the second release, and I like them. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get them or not, but um, I just really, really like this dress right here. So, anyway, let me get them out of the box, because um, I want to take a closer look while I'm talking about them. All right, and I've got them out of the box. So first, I actually just want to show you the inside of the box kind of looks cool. It's got like all these gold um, sparkles and things that kind of looks like they're falling down. This was kind of cool. And it, it like the whole series looks very like Christmas and like holiday or even New Year's. Like these could definitely be like maybe their New Year's outfits or something. These dolls are not meant to come out of the box. <laughs> like, I think that Hasbro, when they designed like how the box was gonna be on the shelves and stuff like that, they were like, these are for display, these are probably more like aimed towards collectors. I don't know what it was, but they were like strapped, pinned, pinched, stapled, taped, glued, whatever. Like there was so much attached to these boxes. There wasn't any glue or tape, I, I was exaggerating, but there were so many rubber bands and those little plastic stays or kajinkers or whatever you wanna call them, but like, why? <laughs> I hate it. And like, especially because like every, oops, every individual curl of their hair was tied to the box. And I'm like sitting here trying to get the scissors behind it. I mean, I've got like a little teeny scissors here, but like I'm trying to get the scissors behind it to cut the, the stupid rubber bands without cutting the hair, you know, like anyway, whatever. So Let's talk about Ariel first, since she was the one that I was uh, mentioning just before I got them out of the box. So I've never been a fan of the Ariel faces from Hasbro, but this one is actually really pretty. I don't know if it's just the way that she's painted or if they actually used a completely different face mold. I'll have to look it up and see if there's like a completely different face. Oh, I didn't realize my nails match her. I just did this this morning, this little gradient here. But anyway, um... Like, I think they did a completely different face mold. If they did, like, I'll, I'll put the regular, like, Playline Ariel here next to it. Um, so that way you can kind of see the difference between them. So I'm pretty sure it's a different face mold. And I like this one so much more. Also, before I forget, they each come with a purse. And this one is Ariel's. It's just this, like, purple clamshell with the silver strap. Um, it does not open or anything. So here is her outfit. She's got, like, this two-piece. It's a kind of a long maxi skirt with this thing. Oh, is it? Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. It's attached. Y'all know that I hate it when they pin the clothes to the other clothes. I'm like, why? I mean, I know why they do it. They want it to look just so in the box um, without having any issues. But the thing is, they do this and then it causes little holes in the fabric. It just, it's a, it's a pet peeve of mine. So I don't know. Am I the only one? Let me know down, like, leave a comment if, if you also hate that or if you don't care, if it doesn't bother you. Cause like that, I don't know why that bugs me so much, but don't pin the clothing to itself. So anyway, 
I am in love with this outfit. Th that's the reason I got this doll. The other thing is the hair on the Hasbro dolls has always been kind of a cheaper quality. Um, I remember when they switched the Equestria Girls dolls over from like the smaller versions to the slightly bigger ones and everybody like had a panic attack because they're like, oh my God, their faces look weird. It's like, oh, the potato ponies. Anyway, I <laughs> I got those and I reviewed them on my channel. If you want to see that video, by the way, I'll put it um, in the iCards and then a link down below, but I didn't really care for the hair quality because it went down. By the way, I did actually have a Hasbro Ariel doll, like the Playline one, and she also had the like cheaper hair quality. But this Ariel doll has like silky, like smooth hair. This is like a much higher quality hair. And I don't know if it's because it's like a collector doll or like, anyway, it's a, definitely more expensive than the Playline because the Playline is like $10 or less than $10. And I don't remember... <sighs> I don't remember what the original price is on this because like I paid like a clearance price or something because I only paid like eight bucks when I got this. So um, if I can find the original price, I'll put it down here on the bottom of the screen. But anyway, um, these are definitely much more expensive. Uh, so they're definitely more of like a collector doll. But as I was saying, I'm in love with this outfit. I just, I love, first of all, these are my two favorite colors. If you don't know by now, my favorite colors are aqua and purple, literally my nails. <laughs> but, um, um, I also have a thing for mermaids, uh, not just the Little Mermaid, but mermaids in general I really like, and um, I love the style of this, this, it's not a dress because it's two pieces, but the skirt, I love this. It's like this maxi skirt with this satin material, and then this like over skirt or whatever you want to call it, it's almost like a cape. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it, but it's so pretty. I love that combination. And then her top is so pretty. Her top is this same aqua blue color and it's got these like pearls painted all over it. Um, mine's a little weird because like the, it's supposed to have like the pearls are going across the top, but it's like folded over right here. I'm gonna see if I can try and fix that later, but um, I just think this is so pretty. And it kind of looks like if it was like a bra top and then had the dangling strings of pearls, that's kind of what it looks like. They're just painted on instead of actually done that way. But yeah, I really like her outfit. And then coming down to her shoes here, she has this like pale purple shoes. I think these are the same shoes that the, um, the Playline Ariel has, but they're in a much better color. They're this like really light, like opal, like, I don't know, pearlescent lavender. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it, but it's really pretty. It's, and the camera's not, my camera is not the greatest. It's not doing it any justice right now. In person, they're kind of pearlescent and they're really, really pretty. So another thing that I like to look at when reviewing a doll is the articulation. So she does have movement at, at her head. She has movement at the shoulder. She does have articulated elbows and wrists. And then she does have articulated hips, but not the knees or ankles. I mean, I never really expect the ankles to be, but she does not have articulated knees, which is kind of surprising. I mean, I guess they don't need it if they're like meant to be collector dolls. They probably expect you to just kind of like set them on, on a shelf, but it didn't come with a stand or anything. So I don't know. That's the one, that's the one thing is like, you're halfway there, Hasbro. Come on, give them knee articulation. They did the same thing with Belle. The, not, not this Belle, the, um, when Hasbro did the live action Belle, um, the Emma Watson one, I think they did a really good job on the face because it was like a caricature of Emma Watson. Like, I think it looked almost better than the Disney Store version. And on some of those dolls, they did actually give her articulation, but it was the exact same articulation as this, the elbows and wrists, but no knees for some reason. And I just, I don't know why. I really like posability in my dolls and I, I don't like the fact that she didn't have that. I'm also not a huge fan of the way that Hasbro does their articulation because like, that's as far as you can bend. Like, I mean, I'm not expecting a made to move situation or anything, but I think that Monster High just like sets the standard when it comes to articulation. For me, at least Monster High, Ever After High as well. But like, if you look at the, the range of posability here, like look how much that the Monster High doll is able to bend versus this is as far as she can get. She's just meant to pose out. I'm hitting my light. <laughs> She's just meant to pose like, I don't know, like however, but like my froggy stuff, she says she likes to see the dolls be able to like, look like they're holding a cell phone that can't, she, she can't. 
she can't hold a cell phone to her ear. Monster High definitely can. <laughs> Just saying. That's one thing that Mattel definitely got right and I wish that they would bring back is the articulation. You know, they did a really, really good job at that and then they stopped doing it for some reason. <laughs> So I also forgot to show you, she has this headband, which I love. It's like the string of pearls and it's got like these seashells uh, and with the painted details here, once again, in that matching purple color. Um, also, I really, really like her makeup. I love this like pink color with the purple eyeshadow. I think that it's really good colors for her, especially with her hair color. Um, also, you probably noticed she does have rooted eyelashes. If you saw my recent Tangled 10th Anniversary Collector Doll video, you know that I do not like the rooted eyelashes. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, it looks okay. In theory, it's cool, but they're always too big. They're the wrong scale for the doll. I just, I prefer just painted on lashes. But I also think that that's just like one of those unpopular doll collector opinions, because I know a lot of doll collectors that prefer the rooted lashes. Anyway, here is Belle. So I wasn't too sure about Belle this version of Belle, to be honest. I think she's gorgeous. I love the style they put her hair in. I love her face, it is gorgeous. I mean, she's got like this wonky eyelashes thing happening here, but um, I, I think that she's really, really pretty and I like the style that they put her hairstyle in. But this dress is a little, I don't know how I feel about it. I like it, but I don't love it. I don't know, it's metallic, it's glittery, I love the combination of the yellow, the gold, and then the rose gold. I'm starting to appreciate it a little more, I think, the more I'm looking at it. Here's her face close up. Like I was saying earlier, I think she is gorgeous. Um, I love that she has green eyes. I don't remember if Belle has green eyes in the movie or not. I'm gonna have to look that up. But anyway, she is so pretty. I love the fact that she's a brunette with green eyes. Like you don't see too many dolls like that, or at least I, not that I can think of. Um, but anyway, oh, her hair is not as nice as Ariel's. Oh, this is the cheap hair. Why, Hasbro, why you gotta do Belle dirty like this? Like, I'm hoping that the one that they redid where she's in that like pantsuit dress, I hope that she has better hair than this because this is that cheap quality hair that I was literally just talking about. The ones that they put on the reboot for the Equestria Girls dolls and a lot of dolls that the hair quality has been going downhill for, that's what this hair is. Like, it's not, it's not the worst. Like, it, obviously it's not like dollar store hair necessarily and there is a little bit of product in it, so maybe if I wash it out, but it's definitely like just cheaper quality. It is not like, this is this has product in the ends, but even here I can tell it's silky and it's just a nicer material. But like this hair is so unfortunate. Like, I mean, it looks fine. Like they have it styled nicely, but it's just, uh, it's the, the cheap quality that gets me. Oh, I hate that. And like, it's, it's not the cheapest, I've felt worse, but this is still just like in that realm of like the Playline Hasbro Disney dolls and the one, the reason why I haven't been a huge fan of, one of the reasons that I haven't been a huge fan of them. I know it sounds like I'm complaining a lot about them. I mean, I got them on a super clearance, so like I can't be too picky. Um, also, full disclosure, I actually got this bell not to necessarily add to my collection I actually plan on customizing her because I really liked her face mold and I wanted to use it for a custom that I have coming up so um that's actually the reason why I guess I shouldn't really like complain too much but I mean I'm just I'm giving you my opinion it's just how I feel about it I will say that I do love the accessories this necklace is so pretty I love the roses and I love that she has a matching purse this is so pretty. It's like red, but it's like that candy red. Like it's red, but then it has like an iridescent, like purple sheen over it. I don't know, I love that. And then it's got like gold pearls for the strap and a green bow. Um, that is so pretty. And then if we come down here to her shoes, she has the same shoes as Ariel. So rather than giving her her own set of shoes, they just kind of recycled the same mold, which I'm okay with. Um, but it is in the matching red with the pearl color over it. And then of course she has the same articulation and everything as Ariel. Oh, it's, it's almost a shame that I'm planning on customizing her because her face really is very pretty and I actually really like it. So yeah, overall, I like these dolls. I, they're not something that I see myself like going out of my way to collect all of them necessarily. I might get some of the ones that I really like, like the Aurora one is really pretty. I wish that they had her in her blue dress. 
because I'm team blue. <laughs> I I do like these. I'm I, I still I love this Ariel and I think they did so well. Um, I'm probably gonna see about possibly giving her a new body because I hate the articulation. I hate the fact that there's no knee articulation and these elbows like and wrists, they are yes, they have a joint, but they're kind of a joke. The, I mean, the Descendants dolls had more articulation, way better articulation than this. Like, you have the technology, Hasbro. Come on, use it. It's even, like, still a Disney property. <laughs> Come on, Hasbro, if you're watching this, use that. Use what you've got. <laughs> anyway, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you like it. Of course, if you do like it, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. It just lets me know what you guys are into and what kind of content you enjoy seeing on my channel. Um, obviously, if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you can notification every time I upload and yeah I think that's pretty much it <laughs> anyway thanks again so much for watching I hope to see you guys next time all right bye and happy holidays <laughs> bye